Hello and welcome back to the channel. This video is about DigitalOcean, which is one of the cloud platform. Uh, we're gonna spin up a DigitalOcean subscription and then we're gonna create a bunch of VMs, one manually and um, one via Terraform. So, so let's get started. I'm not sure how many of you have heard about DigitalOcean. DigitalOcean is one of the cloud providers, just like uh, Amazon or, or Google or Azure. Uh, it's not as big as these uh, uh, cloud providers however this is uh, one of the uh, provider which you can always keep in mind this is more for developer uh, focused uh, cloud wherein it, it spins up a uh, uh, virtual machine and got a uh, bunch of products like kubernetes load balancer as you can see over here uh, the the jargons are a bit different uh, they call droplets uh, instead of vms they call uh, spaces instead of storage uh, kubernetes is the same since it's an open source uh, stuff and then we've got load balancer block storage uh, uh, one cl click uh, apps to be deployed uh, talking about um, uh, their their consumer uh, who all are consuming uh, digital oceans platform as you can see docker gitlab slack all these companies are using uh, digital oceans platform to host uh, or deploy their application and there's a bunch of uh, documentation available over here so you can get started with this uh, uh, you get hundred dollars of credit um, if you are from india you would be uh, once you unroll this into uh, the free subscription, you uh, amount of around 350 uh, to 400 bucks would be deducted for from your account, um, which would be almost uh, almost uh, I would say uh, five dollar. Yeah, five dollar, uh, five US dollar when it comes to um, dollar currency. Yep. So so I've already spent up a digital ocean subscription. As you can see, it's plain and raw without anything in it. Uh, let's try to create um, one droplet which is one vm and then probably we'll try to log in as you can see the ui is pretty intuitive and simple on the left hand side you've got all your resources or products listed and on the front of the screen you can see uh, the name of your account and then a uh, few of uh, the other products like gitlab and, and uh, uh, you can always uh, uh, quickly get started with creating spaces load balance and things like that um, so it's a pretty simple UI that's that's I think the best part of this product at the moment so you click on droplets you create a droplet and once you've got it uh, these are the bunch of flavors you uh, Linux um, OS uh, flavors you get Ubuntu freebie see a fedora debian sent to us uh, you can this so there are basically two uh, sizes one is standard and cpu optimized which start from as low as five dollar a month and it goes up till 640 uh, a dollar a month which with, with a very high uh, capacity and power which is like 64 gb with 9 tb of transfer rate and 400 gb of uh, assist disk yep so we gonna spin up a ubuntu machine with a uh, 16.04 version uh, we are going to select a pretty basic level of uh, machine over here probably this one and yeah so you can select your data center uh, got new york uh, uh, san francisco amsterdam london uh, these are few of the european region i would say and then we've got uh, canada and one in india as well uh, which is in bangalore at the moment you can select uh, you can always add your SSS key over here select the host name demo droplet I would call it as and then you can always add tags tags just like labels in GCP and then uh, tags in Azure again so you can demo machine or you can call as sandbox Yep, you so 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 I think I think the interesting part over here, which you do not get with other cloud providers, you can simply spin up multiple. Um, so you, it's kind of an automation thing which you get over here. So you can click on the plus sign button over here, and you can ramp up multiple machine with uh, the 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 name. Uh, th there's gonna be suffix attached to the name of your machine which you have given. Um, so it start with zero zero then zero two three four you can always change them uh, however yeah so so you instead of writing a small little script or using any other um, automation thing you can always use uh, uh, digital ocean's own uh, 
multiple droplets creation thing so you can always use it so for this purpose we're going to create a single droplet which is a virtual machine and then hit on create and it is going to take few seconds so as you can see uh, it gives us an ui about the progress of the vm or droplet uh, so i keep calling it as a, a vm because that's that's how you are kind of a uh, habitual of, of calling your machine as a vm or instance however in digital oceans world these are droplets and that was pretty quick so the machine is created and uh, and then as you can see you get a bunch of information over here you can always uh, log into this vm uh, using ssh or you can always click on it and access it using the console so once you have got it um, so the the by default password would be root and you would be sent with the password the password would be sent onto your email id so i'm gonna pause and pull my email id so as you can see i've just received an email couple of minutes back about the username and the password with the ip address of the droplet i've created so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna copy this and paste it into the console over here and okay so i'm gonna paste it just like this and hit enter so the, the first time you log in it is going to ask you for to change the password which i am definitely going to do and then you type in your new super secret password and you are all set to go and i think i think it's, it's pretty easy to access uh, this machine as uh, pretty simple as just like any other ubuntu machine so you can always use the console or you can use a terminal to log in as well that's pretty much all i've i've logged out from the console and i'm gonna delete my droplet so i'm gonna destroy it right from here click on destroy as you can see small icon over here click on destroy this should be really quick all right the droplet has been destroyed that was really really quick so the i think the unique part of this product is it's uh, very very fast and very sharp in its nature which means that it gives you uh, an ui which is pretty easy to use and uh, it's pretty simple to use and, and things get spin up pretty quickly so now that that's how you create a droplet or a machine manually let's try to create one with terraform so i've got my terminal open uh, I've got my terraform installed as well as you can see so what you can do is uh, the first thing you need to do is you need to uh, make an authentication with DigitalOcean which means your terraform and DA account needs to talk to each other and this will be done using um, a file which we have kept over here so that file is vi create so as you can see we have defined a variable and uh, and that variable is uh, uh, simply we are just exporting a token if i just pull out myself from here what you need to do is you need to export a token you can do it using export and then the name of the variable you can export the token using your droplet account you can click on api and then click on token and generate a new token and then give it a name and generate it. once you generate the new token you what you need to do is you simply uh, type in export and then the variable you have given which in this case is digital ocean and then just copy it and type in export and the name of the variable equals to define uh, the, the value we have picked up from the digital ocean console once you've done that i think we are good to so i'm, I'm gonna export it as well so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna export a new token do demo you can select the scope so you want to give it a read or write permission and just copy it from here and paste it here 
obviously but before that what you need to do is what you need to do is just cat the variable mm. so done I've, I've, I've got my pad token over here what I'm gonna do is export and then name of my variable which is oops, digital ocean copy over here and then paste it over here equals to export okay obviously there has been a small little typo over here so I'm gonna omit 2d from here and I think we are good now yeah all right let's run terraform init and then terraform plan token would be the one we have got from here and as you can see there's one to add which means it's going to create one machine for us uh, with with a name uh, that the image would be this and the name of the machine would be terraform droplet and if I just type in terraform plan what I want to do is I'm going to create the screen and get the size of my terminal a bit bigger terraform pl apply and it's gonna ask for the token again enter the value yes and as you can see if you go back to your droplet section over here it has started to already create the machine for us and once the machine has been created terraform is going to give us a notification that the machine has been created as you can see the machine is pretty quick to create just creating at the moment uh, with the configuration of 1 GB and uh, 30 GB as disk, disk size so it has almost created the machine let's wait for a few more seconds and it has been created yep it has been created over here however terraform is still showing its screen yep it's been created as you can see the machine has been successfully created um, we don't need this machine so I'm gonna destroy this machine Terraform, Terraform, destroy, enter the value of the token, yes, and just refreshing the state, click on yes, as you can see it's deleting the droplet over here using the API, and if you come over here, it should start showing us that it's being deleted, yep, that should be all, I think, resource, one resource has been deleted, if you just hit a refresh button, our machine shouldn't be there at the moment and it's not there it's it's as clean as anything again so that's pretty much all I hope this was informative if you have anything any other questions about this lotion or any other cloud platform feel free to drop in a comment and I'll be glad to help you guys out thank you that's pretty much all I'll see you in the next video thank you